doesn't matter for which step are you preparing step one, two, or three. A gold standard tool that you know you have to pay is you wore. So in this video, I'm going to cover the most common biggest mistake that a student make during the UWAR preparation as a tool. Number one, use UWAR as a practice test instead of a learning tool. This is a common mistake that we as a student make a lot, like since you will give you a score or percentage of your performance, we get to assess about the score. And sometimes we can even get immersed in that type of attitude or mindset that we just, we just really pay attention only in our school, how good, how bad we are doing, and really never mind or just Forget about this is a learning tool. This is a good time for really um, see our weakness and strengths and work on it and learn about the concept that we are like testing and see in what place we are. If we have something wrong, work on it. If we have something good, why we get this one? It was, it was just luck or we know the concept. And that's a really common mistake that we make. Number two, rushing through questions. Pay attention on quantity over quality by trying to finish as many questions as possible rather than truly understanding each concept. Number three, Overlooking answers explanations, skimming through answers explanations or not taking the time to understand the underlying concepts. Not stimulating test conditions, practicing without stimulating exam conditions such as timing and distractions free environments which can impact performance, performance on, the, on the actual test day. So I want to say something about tutor mode. It's something kind of controversial here. Tutor mode, tutor, tutor mode is so useful when you are like in the beginning of your preparation, when you are like getting knowledge and consolidating all that knowledge in your brain. And when you just adjust to the e-war style question and when you're like in the beginning stay. So in my case, during my preparation, I used tutor mode in the first pass. I was using tutor mode and that was amazing, that works for me. So I feel like if you use it in, you, in, like in your first phase of preparation, it's perfectly fine. But uh, when you're like in the last, uh, phase or in advanced phase of preparation, tutor mode is not that useful. Tutor mode, tutor, tutor mode, I don't know what I'm saying, tutor mode is more for the beginning stage. For the last stage, for the advanced stage and the middle stage, uh, timing is, you know, 100% recommended because in the end of the day, the test is timing, so you don't, you won't have a tutor mode Action for your real deal. So for the um, for the beginning of the prep, tutor mode is more than fine. But eventually, step by step, you have to make a transition for timing and go along with it until the deal. Number five: ignoring weaknesses. Ignoring weak areas or specific topics that need improvement leading to knowledge gaps. Oh my God, that is so real. Do you know how many times I was avoiding renal and cardio? Because I am sucking it <laughs> until this day. And they were my weakness areas for step one. And I was like... I don't like cardio, I don't like reno, I don't want to do this. And I was like, oh my God, avoiding 
these topics for so long, and I knew it. That was really bad, and and on on it, I was like, I was, I'm one hundred percent. And when I I was like, oh my god, because I was doing randomly, you know, everything in you know in the middle of the prep for the second pass and more. I was like, oh my god, I I got a cardio question. <sighs> I'm getting a heart attack. Or a renal question, and I was kind of avoiding until I was like, you know what? And and I was I was I was thinking my um my practice session and and my cardio was like hallelujah. I have to work on it. So yeah, <laughs> work on work on it. If you know you struggle with biochemistry. Cardio, renal, dying a bullet. So work on it. I know it's <laughs> it's not that easy, but um, yeah, you have to do it. Number six, not utilize fixtures. Underutilizing your words fixtures, such as the ability to create notes, mark questions for review, or customize practice sections. Number seven, late start in question bank. Waiting too long to start using new word in the study process, missing out on the benefits of a space repetition. But at the same time, too early is not good advice. I have met a student that they even see certain subjects in their curriculum and start and they start doing randomly questions. I have met people like they were taking biochemistry classes and they were doing <coughs> excuse me. Sorry, and they were doing um cardio questions and they were taking biochemistry and they were doing randomly you were and getting questions from everywhere. So if you haven't even seen a subject. Why are you doing question from then? So, what I recommend is if you integrate you were during your curriculum during the med school, if you're doing biochemistry, doing biochemistry, and so on. So don't do randomly questions about any topic if you haven't touched that topic yet because you're wasting time and questions too because if you don't have any idea about him, what do you expect? <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a mistake that I, I, I have met people that, you know, it was kind of trendy, like I'm doing, I'm taking biochemistry classes, as I said, but I'm doing randomly you work and I'm getting questions from everywhere. Lack of consistency. Inconsistent practice, such as the sporadic use of the question bank, leading to suboptimal retention of information. A speeding through your first pass of you work. I see some students speed through their first pass of the U War Q1 so that they have time to complete it. The much recommended two times. It's you know it's kind of controversial whether one pass is enough. Main take is that the second pass of U War is in vital. If a student do well on the first one, a study effectively and learn from the from their mistakes. Rather than doing a full second pass, some students make flashcards for the topics they got wrong in the first pass. Then after a consistent review of their flashcard, they do 40 questions block of the incorrect questions. Often they get all the questions right the second time because they have no they have now covered the challenging information so truly. Reviewing only the explanation and not the question. When we get a question wrong, we just assume that we don't know the concept, that we have any lack of knowledge, and that's why we get that question wrong. But to be honest, the reality is it's not necessary that it happen. Do you know, you don't, you don't know how many times 
I got questions wrong that I I I have the knowledge. I I was 100% sure that I know the knowledge. However, during my blog, I didn't read the question properly, so I got confused or I didn't understand the case and that's why I got that question wrong or I just misreading information or, or just misleading the question or just I was kind of, uh, I was not kind of, I was um, tired, especially the last part of my blogs. And I didn't, I didn't know even what I did in, in that question and so many stuff. So instead of just pay attention only to the explanation and assuming that the that the reason that you you got that question wrong was lack of knowledge really think about it and be mindful about why you get that question wrong it was a lack of knowledge it was a misunderstanding you didn't understand the question uh, you you get confused. Next one, don't review your right questions. Oh, so this is a common mistake. Oh, I got that question that question right. I'm tired. I don't have time. This is my second block. I want to go to sleep. I won't check my right questions. I just going to check my wrong one and never mind about my right questions that is a big mistake do you know how many times i choose a question and randomly i got it right but the reason that 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 question was right didn't have anything related for the reason that i picked that question like that was something common oh i choose a for this and x reason and when i read the explanation i was like oh really i didn't choose this choice because that <laughs> i was lucky that's why you have to you know to review your right questions too the last mistake that i will mention is don't have a reviewing system. Oh my God. That was something that really like, I was so immersed in like doing questions that to be honest, I forgot to have a proper reviewing system. I wasn't doing Anki cards. I wasn't taking notes. Or if I was taking notes, don't review it. And... I was so like neglecting my reviewing system and I was paying attention to understand the concepts, understand the questions, and understand the material. And I was doing so bad and neglecting my reviewing part. So, because in the end of the day, okay, you got a question right or wrong and you're making notes, or you understand the concept, and, oh, I gotcha, I know the concept, I, ha I have a good grasp of everything. But if you don't have any reviewing system, a space repetition system, you know what is gonna happen? You will forget everything, because there is a huge amount of material. And something that is, that is really common here is like you forget stuff. And if you don't have a reviewing system, you're gonna you're gonna be a screw. And I was. <laughs> and I, I realized, oh, I don't have a reviewing a reviewing system like a decent one because I was taking notes, but to be honest, I didn't review it. So I. I'm making it for, and I was really taking seriously my Anki cards and my notes. And I was making sure that was like a space repetition was part of my life. And that's it for this video. If you like this type of video, follow me here. Or follow me here and on Instagram. 
subscribe to my channel and see you next video bye